Hello, it's Amy from Mindology, and today I'm doing something a little bit different. Um, so I wanted to look at sept uh, September the 17th, 2024, Lebanon, uh, 3.30, and there was a series of pages that exploded and seriously injured over 2,000 2, people and killed a few others. Um, so I just want to kind of look at this attack, see what's going on, who did it, who's to blame, um, because Mossad haven't taken um, responsibility for it yet. So, you know, it was a well-planned attack, um, and you have to wonder, is there more that meets the eye? It would be obvious if Mossad, Israel's intelligence agency, uh, were to blame, but there are a lot of businesses and a lot of individuals that would personally benefit from a war, just like Pfizer benefited from the world health crisis that we had recently. So what do we know so far? Well, um, these pages, they were supplied by a company, a Taiwan company named Gold Apollo, and they've been made in Europe by a company called BAC, which is a Hungarian company. But then when you look at the website, it says that it's forbidden. Um, I did manage to wiggle my way in, and it says that um, there's expertise in environment, development, international affairs. You know, it's all fluffy. There's things to do with jewelry, and the um, owner is trained in physics. Um, but she said that she had nothing to do with it um, and of course you know you have to wonder in modern day society um, is it just a distraction what is going on here so let's have a quick look at the chart so first of all we have the Logna at 28 degrees of Sagittarius and when we're doing this kind of thing if we're looking at a chart to try and get information about it first thing we have to do is check if it's valid so jupiter is the chart ruler and it's in the sixth and the sixth house is accidents unfortunate events as it is a dustana so jupiter is sitting there conjunct uranus which is about sudden events electronics and explosions and i'd say that that fits um then mars is in the seventh house of opponents this is war. In Vedic astrology, the Mar when Mars is in the seventh, it's Kuja Dosha, and that can bring arguments, violence, and general problems to a relationship. And I think that you can translate that yoga into a chart like this and say, yeah, there is a lot of heat and disagreement with the opponent. So the ascendant gives us ascendant gives us a situation, and we're looking for confluence here. So the Lagna is speaking of crowds, nations, family, public, and this is where the event happened. It happened in the public, but it was in multiple places. But a lot of explosions happened in places that were populated, such as supermarkets. There's also a link to highways, foreigners, borders, and religion as well. And I think that there were some cases of people were driving and the explosions happened and there were accidents um so you know i think this overall this fits the be basics of the situation i think this is an ac ac accurate chart looking at that um and you know it was something to do with foreigners that involves an, an element of religion as well so the target was hezbollah who opposed israel and the ascendant is Uttara Ashada and that can be related to government leadership and this is the invincible one and this is about declination declarations of war so I'm really interested in that opponent who is it can we confirm who it is so in the sign of Gemini there's a quality of air here and this part is you know it's all about communications and it was in fact a communication device that exploded and was used as a weapon and interestingly there is a link to neighbors so we could be talking about a neighboring country and one of which is Israel obviously Mars does have violent connotation here and it sits at 13 degrees which is about factories weapons military engineers and aggression so you know they that is that is summing it up what does Ra's mars rule well it holds aries in the fifth house and scorpio in the 12th house and the fifth house is about speculation investment and the 12th is about secret agents scandal 
things that are hidden. Mars sits in Ardra, so this is about destruction and tragedy which results in the fertile soil to rebuild and this is about rebuilding. So Mercury in Leo uh, and that's the rule of the seventh house as well, this has given me the impression that there's a it's a leader, there's a leader especially with the Paravartana Yoga with the Sun as well, something to do with air and a leader so communications so you can also think with the air it's out in the open um, Mercury is sitting in the southern part of the chart so I'd be inclined to say that the opponent is a leader of a neighboring country that is on the border to the south so they you know that could be Jordan Israel or Iraq um, but out of all of those countries I think the one with the motive is Israel um, another interesting point to look at is the 10th house because this is about the public as well as the authorities and how they perceive the whole situation. The sun being here is really strong because of that Paravartana yoga but Ketu is also here so Ketu is about confusion, foreigners and loss and there's also a link to addiction which a de debilitated Venus is also represents so there could be an addiction to the situation, maybe an addiction to war, maybe a situation that is getting out of hand as addictions do and you know there's a lot of confusion here and it's influencing the sun which is the leader and then neptune is sitting opposed which adds even more confusion so i think perhaps world leaders may even start to pull away and i know that the uk government is starting to think about stopping sending weapons to israel i'm not sure uh, to what degree they want to do that but i think that you're going to see a lot of people going uh we don't really want to be associated with this so if mercury is in the ninth and it's all about communications devices that could represent the package that could be the the movement of of these devices um because i want to see i want to see whether whereabouts can we see whereabouts those devices were intercepted so leo could represent the transit and it's associated with holidays, the ninth house associated with travel and foreigners too. So interestingly, we have Saturn and the moon in opposition with a very tight orb. So I think that they could have been sitting on this plan for a very long time and the package could have ten potentially have gone missing um, so Saturn and the moon also makes me think of martyrdom as well and I think this whole plan took longer than they initially planned and you know I think it's something that you know that will go on I know that there was a second lot of um, walkie talkies um, I th potentially I think they've got they have got other things uh, going going on as well but you know overall I think the astrology is pointing to the fact that it's very straightforward the opposition opposition is a bordering country to the south and there isn't actually a great deal being hidden but world leaders are starting to feel a bit weird a bit odd about the whole situation and they want to peel away and as it becomes more and more intense I think people will be less likely because obviously in the west there is a duty uh, an agreement put in place to support israel but i think the more that this escalates the more that they're gonna go oh <laughs> yeah we we're not gonna help you so i think that that's gonna happen that the, the more that this goes on um and you know i think because there's so much invested uh in with um, Ukraine and Russia I don't think that the West has the capacity to deal with all of that going on at once and I think it all could potentially mesh into one big third world war um, and who wants that who wants that I don't I don't um, but you know I personally I don't understand that we we live in 2024 and I don't get why leaders can't just instead of having an argument and throwing the people as cannon fodder 
why can't they just have an arm wrestle? Why can't they just play a game of chess? You know, it'll cost so much less. There'll be so much less collateral damage and it would just be so much more sensible. Why don't they do that? Anyways, thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a great week. Thank you, bye.